So in today's video, we're gonna create this simple Venturi. It uses a half inch water fitting, a half inch water T water fitting, Teflon tape, and a tube. What is a Venturi? A Venturi is a simple device that uses two principles of fluid dynamics, mass continuity, and the conservation of mechanical energy. What does that mean? Well, what it means is as the water enters the venturi, it's under high pressure but low velocity. Because water cannot be compressed, as soon as it hits a restriction, it must increase in velocity and lower in pressure. That increase in velocity and lower in pressure creates a vacuum. That vacuum can be used to draw air into the water column increasing the dissolved oxygen in your fish tank. Other things that you might be familiar with that uses these principles is a water changer for a fish tank and some power heads use these, the same thing. Let's go ahead and put this together. I'll show you how it works. I'm gonna be using half inch tees. And then I need, you need a couple of pieces of tubing First thing, the other thing you need is something sharp to cut it with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this at an angle. A fairly sharp angle. That angle is gonna give me my area of low pressure. that right there. Let's cut at an angle. Bring that in just a little bit. Sharp it up just a little bit. There we go. Bring that in just a little bit. Now, needless to say, and I have to say it nowadays, unfortunately, this is a sharp knife. Don't cut yourself with it. Now, I need to make it so it fits in here. So what I'm gonna do, I like using this Teflon tape for that. And I'm gonna take this Teflon tape, and I'm gonna start wrapping it around. And you wanna give it a little bit of this area here. I'm gonna do this to, I wanna get a pretty tight fit on this. That's gonna keep it from leaking. Be, oh, that's a good fit. That's a nice tight fit. So I'm gonna push this through until it just pokes through. I don't know if you guys can see down in there or not coming in from this side. So what we got here is the water flow is gonna hit the back of that angle that we that we cut. And it's gonna create a low pressure point on the front of this. That's what's gonna draw the air into the system, into this. There we go, that one I can actually see. So it's just down there so that it fits right about there. We'll go over to the fish tank and plug these two in. I'll show you how they work. Okay, that's the current Venturi that's in there and it works really well. But let's take a look at this two, the two I just built. I'll just kind of take that one off. The first one we'll test out is the one that's done like this in a straight T. We'll plug that back in. Kind of adjust a little bit, turn it. 
See how we get the get it dialed in perfectly. There's hardly any air. We give it a little bit of a turn. We can increase the amount of air going into it. Just like that. I'll put my finger over it. You can see how much it decreases. All right, so let's plug the other one in. Now this one is gonna point the air down. That's why this, but you'll see it works pretty well. Plug this back in. It's just a matter of getting that in the right spot. And as you can see, it's got a lot of airflow. So that's your two basic configurations that you can make for your Venturis. Now on this one here, On this one here, all I did was I put this little tube, this uh, fitting on here to kind of just force it off into a uh, circular motion around there. If you get something out of the video, like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. You can also use your grow bed as a battery to run a Venturi and increase the amount of dissolved oxygen almost for free for energy that you're already using in your system look at that that's pretty cool look at all that that's pretty significant just a simple venturi tube it's quieter than the splashdown method pretty cool stuff like share and subscribe